unpacking it when we arrive to it. Uh, comrades, on behalf of the branch executive committee, we would want to we would want to welcome you on this program that was organized with many challenges uh, involved in trying to fix this program. As you, as, you, as you all know, our calendar is the university. It's no longer that calendar that is uh, tabled in our prospectus due to the protest, uh, national elections, and other problems. So we know that we have a year that is not stable in terms of dates and anything that has to, to take place according to the university prospectus as far as the calendar is concerned. So you have societies wanting to catch up in the so that they implement their programs. You have SRC that is trying to make sure that it, it catches up in implementing its programs. So even as we speak, we know there's a, 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 there's a tournament, there's a sports event <coughs> facing Itaba City and a, a social function that would be also following the sports weekend that would commence in the evening. It's organized by the very same comrades of SAS that are deployed by SAS. So you have those two programs and yet we have you who chose to make sure that you put this program in, 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 in your priorities to make it your priority uh, in making sure that you attend and give and give it its dignity that it deserves. So as, as we are about to start the, the program, we would want to uh, we would want to make that special recognition that you have sacrificed everything out of the short notice and other things that the leadership went through to make sure that you respect this program that is noted by the leadership of SASCO. Uh, we'll make sure in terms of time, we, we will be conscious about time so that we don't end up uh, finishing the program go to the volume of it's going to give us a challenge. But at the same time, we're not saying we must be summarizing or compromising the quality of, of, of the program and the importance of the program. Can we try to, can we in fact give a round of applause for who Kobit Kakaza was going to be coming on the floor to deliver the purpose of the day?
once we go into the details of it, after I actually deliver the purpose of the day. The theme is entitled, Women Empowered to Be Women in Power, under the Memorial Letter of Charlotte Mandelke. A leader is, identical, is identified by a variety of traits, but a few of those are the ones that truly distinguish them from the masses. This is why we are here today, to hear of those, of those techniques and traits and skills that various leaders have used to put them where they are today. But we also note as an organization that to be a leader within a political organization such as the South African Student Congress, it is about more than just following guidelines of what it means to be a leader. We need to ensure that we, in, we include our own unique brand of being an individual. With that being said, we will then be able and capable to create a uniqueness within ourselves as female comrades. That is what makes a female comrade within SASCO identifiable because we stretch limits, we go beyond boundaries. We achieve things that are otherwise known to be impossible. Mm -hmm. Charlotte McClake founded what we, count, what we now know as the, as the ANC Women's League. She is a reminder of what it means to be a woman, empowering other women to power. Certainly, even in her time, there are those who told her that she could not make it, it wouldn't happen, and yet she achieved a lot. Hence, we now have the ANC Women's League. This is why we are all here today, to hear of female comrades, such as Charlotte McClake, who have made and left their mark within the organization, within the political struggle. We are students today, we are young, yes, but that does not mean that we don't have a role to play in society. This is why we are here today, to be women empowered, to be women empowered. We thank you.
Same before you is Amanda Kwame from the Kavulazi Female Empowerment Society. And this event of today really stands for who we are and what we want to implement in the University of Forte. To empower young females to be the best they can be because they have the potential, it's just that you need to just unleash it. Uh, I'm not a speaker, but I'm a poet, and I would like to do this in a different manner, the way that I know how. I am a woman. A woman in power to being a woman in power. It is not about the physical strength or having the muscles to actually prove that I am powerful. But within me lies a golden arrow that can stab whoever it sees fit. And in me lies a glorious woman who is strong and yet so nice and yet so feminine. Me being a woman and the softness within my skin does not mean that I am weak. I can stand boldly and face any challenge and actually walk through it peacefully and gracefully. I am a woman and that is who I am. Before my identity, I was a woman. Before my name and said in the title of your I am a woman and very powerful and very strong. Uh, when I walk, I make sure I make a statement because I understand who I am. I accept my sexuality, that my body is no object. But it is merely what I stand for. Within me lies the one who is so fragile but yet so strong. Because within me lies a very powerful person who can do it all. With a smile in her face and yet so tired and yet so tricky. Because in us we have our signature that click on a daily basis. Let me get a bit tired. You can still stand and carry it all. I am a woman empowered. And I am a woman empowered. That is who I am.
be protecting you and assisting you in the talent that you, you are given. Hey, colleagues, we are supposed to be going to the ANC Women's League for a message of support. And as we are going to the message of support, can you please make sure that we get to be maintaining the silence as it shows respect to the speaker that is on the floor. Come on, they are short and precise. So let's please give them the respect that they deserve. Thank you. Shine, 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 shine,
day. She is the, she is the one also who fought, who fought for rights for us to be to be where we are in all positions. I was I, I was ashamed of the, the chap who was saying here here in this university. There are no women in the upper structures. So that is very, very bad. You must you 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 you, 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 you must make things right. It's 50-50. If if, if, if if you don't if you don't if you don't do that, know that you are not yet to the to, to the democracy. Because what she what she she was fighting for. She was fighting for we must have respect. As women. Respect, because you are not going to be responsible citizens if you don't have respect. Because you want this, I'm talking as a mother here. I'm talking as a mother because I want to build you for tomorrow. If, if, if you go out to that gate of hotel not knowing what you want, you will be lost. Yes. That is not these ladies fought for. They fought for that we must be responsible citizens. If, we, if you don't get employment immediately, you must not just throw yourself to go to liquor, drugs. You must know that the time will come and be sure of yourself. Please, man, please, please, don't don't make us ashamed of our kids. Mm. Don't make us ashamed of our kids. Yes. This lady also fought for us to strive for permanent peace in our society. Is there any peace in South Africa? No. So when you go out, go and fight for peace as yes. shallow. And if we are proud of, of, of her today because Johannesburg Hospital is named after her. Sure. In Tanzania, there's a nursery school there which is named after yeah. Shalom Makari. What are you going to be named of? Nothing. Yeah. If, you don't, if, you, if you don't follow her steps, let us come together and make unity and respect each other so that we can go there. By those short words, thank you very much. I wish you all the last and don't be, don't be, take me otherwise, after a short time we we'll just go out. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Oh, okay. Then we get the message of support from the ANC Youth League from who come to command. Shocking.
uh, sexually, racially, or, or on the class base. Uh, Amanda. 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 Uh, this is a message of support. He supports us on this uh, powerful program. Uh, we say uh, women must be empowered to be empowered, not just to be followers. They yes. must empower and lead the struggle of some yeah. Amanda. Yes. Yes. 
Therefore, we must be prepared to challenge even our own so-called culture. Yabona, yeah. comrades, if we are really honest about empowering women, yeah. we must challenge everything. Yes. For you to be being a woman does not mean that you should be given privileged treatment. The problem is that women want to be empowered. Yeah. Women do not need to be empowered. Women need to claim the space, need to be assertive. The problem is that you do not need to ask anything from men. You need not demand anything from men. You are not in competition with men. You are equals, therefore you just claim the space and you will end the respect. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. See, women's struggles are not for women, but for society. Yes. 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 The progress of society can be measured by the progress that women make. Society. Yeah. 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 Not shareholders, stakeholders of society. And therefore, if you ignore their development, you are ignoring the development of society and you are arresting our future. Long for each guessing about Romanis, Maskubekeni, Silweni, Dabi, because you cannot separate gender struggles from class struggle. Because they, in the first place, Gender struggle is informed by class struggles. Then, how much we stand watching Siabule? Thanks, comrades. Comrades, I am going to be visiting. The colleagues, we are done with our messages of support. And now we want to go to the business of the day. Yeah. Uh, without wasting time, can we get the person who is going to introduce the first speaker? Yeah,
chuguchu sasko hai chugucha hai chugucha chuguchu sasko hai chugucha hai chugucha the house i want to be allowed to say all protocol is observed uh, my duty is to introduce a young vibrant lady a woman of substance I stand before you all today eh uh, program to introduce uh, a person who was a student leader here in the University of Forte. Uh, she was in Forte since 2005 and graduated in record time in 2008 and studying uh, the degree of law which is in here. She led in many structures while here in the University of Forte. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, let me name those uh, structures she led. In. She led in the law student council deployed by South Sudan Central. She was also deployed uh, as South Sudan BC uh, in the BC. She led in the BC of South Sudan in the office of the projects and campaigns office. She was also the deputy secretary of the RSC of Sasco. She was also in the SRC as the academic affairs officer. She was also in the disciplinary committee a panelist deployed by Sasco. Uh, uh, she was also a member of student parliament. She was also a member of the PTT whose role was reestablished the ANC in Fort Hay. Yes, in Alice campus where the ANC League was founded. Upon a, <laughs> upon a graduation, she did her articles, especially candidate of attention with the legal aid board of, of South Africa. And further continue, continued working as an attorney for a private law firm. Thereafter, he, she joined the ANC at his headquarters in Chief Albert Lutuli House, working as the executive assistant to the Secretary, Secretary General, uh, Comrade Upachum Kulu Wetemandash. She has now recently been promoted to, to, the, to the position of legal advisor in the Secretary General's office last month. <laughs> She's a lawyer member in good standing of the African National Congress, of the ANC Youth League, the ANC Women's League, and be rest assured, let me call Comrade Nomba Sapik. <laughs>